There's rubber everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Thornton 100 Motorcycles YouTube channel. My name's Jody, and today we've got a really difficult challenge. I'm here at Pure Triumph in Wellingborough to collect a bike that we're going to be using for our dawn to dust challenge. So we're going to try and build a bike between 7, 16, and then we've got to finish it for 5, 14 tonight, hopefully for some sick burnout. So I'm going to go inside, grab the bike, get it in the van, get it back to the workshop and get to work. Yeah, good thanks for having you. You ready for this, mate? Uh, I don't think anyone could be ready for this. <laughs> Is that our first? Yeah, that's our bike. We got a lot of work to be doing. We're, yeah, we're not allowed to touch the bike from 760. Hey, right, let's go. <laughs> right. Okay, so it is 7.50 a.m. and we have about, what, we've got about nine and a half hours, Alex, something like that, something like that. to get this bike built into something sick. And we're gonna do a fat burnout on it too. Well, that's the plan anyway, if we can get it done. So what I need to do is get the bike up in the air, get the exhaust off it, split the frame, get the catalytic converter out the middle, and then once that's done, get the front end out, get the back end out, get all of the tank off and all the other bits that we don't want, and then start putting my bits back on. So Alex is gonna redesign the side stand damper and also the rear seat plaque at the back here so i'm gonna get this up into the air alex you want to jump onto the cab how's that sound for a size fry goal yeah boy <laughs> <laughs> <Woo! laughs> <laughs> it's been a mad day man yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have all of the bits that we need over here. So we have the tires, we have the wheels in here, which are already built. A lot of this bike is actually pretty much already done. We've done all of the stuff that takes a very long time to do. I paint it, build the wheels. Obviously all the design work and manufacture is done and everything is here lined up, ready to go. What I've got to do is put the tires onto the wheels and then assemble all the wheels with all the brake discs and the inner tubes and the rim tapes and stuff like that. So there's lots and lots going on this bike. So we're gonna get all of the bolt up stuff done and then I'm gonna fabricate the front mud guard mount and then the exhaust. So lots to do, got a crack on. I can do it some eyes shut now. Yeah. Literally I can do it some eyes shut. <laughs> okay. These bits are going on here because I've still got to do stuff with them. I take hardware out and get rid of it. Right. And the coffees are ready, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having this, Steve. I'm just gonna swear over it, so you, you don't put me in, mate. You're the coffee here. guy. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our builds have a little bit of a backstory to them. Um, so with this one, we just wanted to do the same. Take this and give it a bit of a dawn to a dusk uh, feeling that will stay on the bike for 
well, for as long as it does. This is what I love about working on brand new bikes. Nothing's rusted, nothing's seized. This bike is brand new, so is every other bike that we do at Full Time Drift. And every bolt just comes straight out. I can just strip it apart so fast. We collected the bike an hour and 10 minutes ago, and it looks like this. And Wellingborough is what, 15 miles away, something like that? Oh, right, triple clamps coming out. So I've taken the bars off, I've just rested them there. Since we're gonna go back on with this one, I don't need to take everything off and disconnect it. It is time for forks, and this is an interesting one because we have all of our new titanium bolts. We actually specified these on a kit and built a kit about a month ago, and I've been waiting for a bike to put them on. And this is the bike, and they're gonna look sick. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good, man. I've got these kind of three and I'm just sampling them to make it look like the dirty dancing text. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the wrong trick up. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get out to this. Not turn enough. Yeah. The wrap that I picked up doesn't go small enough. So, I'm gonna try again. Feeling the pressure? I am, I'm feeling it, man. I've just gotta make sure, I've gotta make sure that this is right. Okay, there's one. Have we got two rights here? We do, don't we? We have two right-hand indicators. Uh, oh, you know. Grab that. Left indicator. Oh my god, I thought it's so good, I just can't decide on what KO I want, just to finish it off. That f***ing jammy f***s it in there, eh? <laughs> Alex! <laughs> yeah, f*** off. <laughs> Be fair, I'm behind as well, mate. No, I'm behind. Yeah, I've got a whole motorbike to build, mate. There you go, mate. I've only just finished um, doing the text and I'm feeling the pressure a little bit. But I'm really, I'm really happy with it, man. It looks good. So when we design for laser cutting, you have to make sure that anything that's got kind of an inner circle has some kind of connect connector. Do you like it? Yeah, man. Sick. Right. Got to run. That wrist on that. That goes there. You get the battery. Bash it back in, put the side panels back on, Whew, and then we can move to the tank. Then I've got to build the wheels, got to put the wheels in, and then I've got to build all the mudguard mounts and the exhaust. Ah, it's gonna be tight, man. I don't think I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm like, I don't think I've got this, but I'm gonna try. I can see you from a now, <laughs> mate. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not stopping. Tank on? Should we make it look like a motorbike? Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go there. That goes there like that. Drops down. I already put the decals on this one. So you can... Look at that. Looks like a motorbike. Love it. Right, what have we got to do next? Get these bolts out.
Okay, so this is proving to be an absolute marathon. I haven't stopped since seven o'clock this morning and I'm absolutely shattered already. And I'm always out of breath. What? You always catch me when I'm out of breath, man. You just run up and down the stairs. No, it's cool, no, it's cool, right. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're doing the titanium bolt kit. So we've replaced all the bolts in the stem, uh, the triple clamps, the forks, all of the engine bolts on the seat mount here too, on the front of the frame base and on the clutch cover this side too. So now I'm gonna jump on the wheels, put the tires on, the rim tapes, inner tubes, got some really cool titanium sprocket nuts and we've got some really cool titanium disc bolts too. So I'm gonna bolt all that up, get the wheels in the bike and then onto the fabrication. Wheels, wheels, back down. This is all out of breath, mate. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see this thing finished. It's gonna look sick. We have a nap then, mate. It's got to you. Uh, checking out the clearances. This is an example. It's got our original uh, kickstand dampener on it. So you got to mind the, sh the chassis frame up to get the bolt in there. It's a bit of a nightmare, but um, these ones are actually pretty solid. We're just trying to make them look nicer, really. All right, Stevie. We've got some exhaust. All right, close. He's got to get the other exhaust pumps. <laughs> I forgot to get some exhaust clamps, so I'm gonna get some. This is tight, man. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, one of them. One of them. Yeah. Guys, since um, you last saw what I was doing, I've jumped into what is now going to be our new kickstand spacer. It's worked out where all our half points are. We've got a nice little rubber bump stop going on the end. It just, it just screws in. And then we've got two bolts that fix it up into the main chassis. So apart from that, everything is open to design work, really. And we're just going to try and make it look a lot, a lot nicer. I, uh, I made a list of when I needed to do everything by and uh, we are not keeping track at the moment. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is looking a bit close, so I'm gonna get my head down now and just crack on. What's up, man? Mate, I can't believe. Are you filming right yeah. now? I'm just trying to nail this uh, face, and there's one corner just here. And you can't get a cover. Yeah, I yeah. will. Yeah. I might have to help Joe do this right because he's looking pretty stressed out there. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. days after this I'm 100% gonna add some supports because if you left it like this they will fracture we're under some serious time constraints and all I want to do is a fat burnout in that spot right there all right 
Steve, you're going to have to walk with me, bro. So, um, I'm going to the laser cutting now to pick up the seat plaque that we did this morning. I've just stuck the kickstand dampener on the 3D print bed, and that's got an hour and 38 minutes. Uh, we're cutting it really tight now, that's all I can tell you, really. I've got to go. One of our Instagram followers has sent us some pizzas. Look at this. <laughs> this spot on. Thank you so much. Let's go for a start up. Ready? I badly wanted to go like that, but like you, all the bikes are just like behind. Cheers, boys. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> So the bike is fully done and dusted now. As you can see, the bike does look a little bit different as to when we did a burnout on it, because realistically, you can't build a Thornton 100 bike in a day. It's just not possible. The details and the level of fetching that goes into this bike to make it what it is, is just off the scale. So it had a few more days in it. For example, obviously changing the tire. We absolutely launched that. So it was a nice 170 pound burnout. <laughs> We're gonna We're keep that tire. Gonna keep that tire as the burnout tire, I think. So you guys love burnouts and I love doing burnouts too. So let's keep that and do some more burnouts in the future. And we've changed the throttle bodies here as well. So we've just painted them all up and then put the, uh, the titanium bulk kit on them too. And we also developed a a damper for the exhaust at the bottom here as well. It literally looks so sick. So that was an absolute nightmare of a challenge. When I got the bar end indicators wrong, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, this is it. I was really, really, really struggling. Like, I don't know how yeah. you found it. I literally, I was in here just running around doing my thing, like, and I, I literally had no idea what you were up to the whole time. I didn't even know how you found it. Like, <laughs> there was a moment in the middle of the day between doing a seat plaque and doing uh, the dampener, uh, just the, the doubt was creeping in. Yeah. It really was. I got to about midday and I was like, well, I don't even have time to eat. 
I ain't got time to do anything but yeah. build bikes. And I was literally, I was running, running up and down. I must have run up and down those stairs a hundred times. It's an absolute nightmare. Really happy with how the whole process went from start to finish. And I really enjoyed doing this challenge. I don't know if you enjoyed it, but. Yeah, man. I, I mean, it. running in 19 minutes to spend, uh, to spare at the end. Yeah, that was... did it in 19 minutes to spare. That's just, <laughs> that's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then cracking a bit. I think that was the best tasting beer I've had. I know. I really oh, yeah. enjoyed those beers. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this challenge, guys, and you want to see us do more challenges, comment below what you think you'd like to see us doing, because we've got a few ideas, but we want to know what you want to see. All right, Red, how's it going, mate? You enjoyed it, didn't you? Good boy. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, because we do have lots of cool content coming soon. And don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel, too, because they're really sick as well. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week.